this is Wes S. We are going to do a gear review, but not like a normal gear review. We're not going to talk about some everybody's got to have it, or you're not going to you're not going to make it in Tiwaki if you don't have it, or whatever. It's nothing high tech. Okay, this is probably. In the modern modern world, this is probably as low tech as we're going to get right here. I don't know how many of y'all have figured out that I have a thing about knives. I grabbed just what I could see on the way out here to shoot this video. I have an old timer lay knife. I have uh, uh, R.W. Loveless Bushcraft knife. Really like this thing. Thank you, sir. I have my one of my oldest and favorite knives is a buck one nineteen. I have my. This is the, not to set the tip of bug out back, but this is one of the set, the hatchet sets from Shrey. My boy got me this. This is a little, well, you know what it's for. I have my almost daily carry knife. This is this one or my other little buck, which is cute. I carry almost every day. This is what I use at work. This thing gets the crap beat out of it. These are 50 bucks. This is an old timer. It's old timer old timer. It's all from here. Um, you can't go wrong with this one. It's not out super whatever but it holds an edge it does what you want it to do it's light it's leather it's classic it's pretty it's not real bone or antler or nothing I got my little trapper fouling knife love that thing that's about good that's, that's my oldest knife Got one that I made myself. This is one of my first knives ever. Uh, this thing will cut some stuff. This is laying over here. So the tomahawk. It's really fun. But what we're talking about, and these are my EDCs, the two pocket knives I keep with me in my pocket all the time. Well, these two are two. We're going to talk about the knife, the modern knife that started it all here. The knife that, quite honestly, if it hadn't been for, I mean, something would have filled the gap, but that doesn't matter. This style knife is the knife that did it all. It was the skinning knife. It was the butcher knife. It was the bushcraft knife. It was the self-defense knife from way on back there. The actual historical referencing name for these style knives are trader knives or trade knives. These are actually uh, This is not, I know it looks like one, but this is not an old hickory knife. Same kind of knife, but it's not old hickory knife. Okay. They, everybody has copiers, if you will. Um, anyway, this is a, a trader knife. This was made and used for trade from the turn of the 
20th century back to when they were trapping beavers in Ontario and had engines and stuff. This is an old hickory. Uh, this is a seven inch butcher knife. This same style knife would have been used as a trader knife. This is a uh, ten and a half inch. Or not. This again is not uh, an Ontario. Yeah, it is Ontario. I got a bunch of these. I, these are I keep these. This is the old hickory. This one that I grabbed here, the old hickory. Good knife. This is your ten inch butcher knife. Found this one. We were doing. We were going to junk sales yesterday what's left of this one. This is uh, it's not a whole hickory. It, I can't find, and there's not much of it left. Y'all will see this later. I'm going to actually take and try to turn this chunk of rust and rotten wood into something. That's not what the video is about. The video is about these things. You can buy uh, a set of knives from Old Hickory that has the 7 inch butcher, the big kitchen knife, and uh, they got a different name for them. Should have wrote it down. The little kitchen knife, and then a, a slicer and a paring knife. Get five knives for, I think they're right at $60. They're, these things are, they run about $12.50 a piece. You cannot go wrong with these things. Uh, they're not made for sticking in something and prying it up or whatever. You can bend them, you can break them. But you can do anything. You need to, you lose all your fire kit and the only thing you've got is your, your butcher knife. You can use these, you can use the back of this on your ferro rod if you got one. If you don't, if you can find a piece of chert or a piece of flint, you can make it spark. It'll work. This knife here has processed no less than 20 deer. This knife here has processed no less than 10 wild hogs. This knife has processed no less than a hundred chicken. This knife has cut up squash, watermelon, okra, whatever. I, if I want my knife, which is supposed to be in my camping kit, if I want my knife, I have to go get it from the kitchen. Um, I guess I could get up and show you all the back side of this. This thing has got dings all in it. Because when it comes time to split the rib cage, when it comes time to do whatever, I turn it over and I get something and I smack the crap out of it. I baton with this. I've yet to tear it up. The handle, all that, and this thing is 20 years old. I, I bought this one. The handle's still solid. And it gets work. This one's not as old. Same thing. Still solid. Handle's a little loose. That's real hard to fix. Put it on something, smack that rip, just tighten back up. What I'm getting at is you can find these things. You can find a set of five knives or you can buy the individual have one of these available. If you want you want a leather project, buy one of these and make you a sheath for it. It's gonna be real simple. And drop this bad boy in your bug out bag. It, when it comes time to store it, oil it. Oil your leather 
the sheet and oil your blade and put it in there. Oh, they're carbon steel, they're going to rust. Yeah. But with that patina on there, if I'm out there trying to be all stealthy and I don't want Mr. FEMA to find me or whoever. I sure don't want to stand a steel knife out there just winky winky winky. You got this one. See that little glitter? And you can see it. It's making a little light on you. Try this. What is that? Oh, hello, hey, I'm right here. Why don't you come over? Let's go let's let's visit me. I deal with rust. Now you can get these. The paint's pouring off. Then you start to paint it. Same with this one. I mean, this, this is stainless steel. You know, the other stripe I've used it on my power rod. It's got this little down here, you can put a lot of down pressure. You can do it. I mean, it'll, it'll throw it apart. But, the old hickory knots. They're if you're just getting into this prepper stuff, if you're just getting into this, I need a, a bug out bag, I need to push craft and everything. The two smaller knives, which I do not own yet, web pages pulled up. The pairing knife and that other one, which I can't remember what they called it. I want those two. Because boom, instant. Uh, neck knife or whatever. You can get it done with these knives. God bless y'all. Y'all still out. Don't die.